Yeah, boy, you already know. Welcome to A Girl with a Credit Card, a series where I unbox stuff that I buy, ooh. And today, I bought a product from Best Buy. Hopefully it'll be better than the last product from the last video, if you can even call it that, that I showed you guys. So, yeah, let's get to it. Um, and let me tell you, it is raining something off outside, so that's why the bag is a little wet here. The bag is a little bit wet. Um, and the, the box is a little, a little wet too, but, but that's okay. That shouldn't stop it from working. I bought the Wacom. Yes, the Wacom into its art. Yeah. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? Yeah. It's an art tablet and it's medium. And this ran um, on a sale online for $169. I got uh, $20 off. You know, um, I'm, not, I'm not including tax. The tax is like 11 bucks, something like that. But yeah, since the um, GoMon gave me so much trouble, I figured I'd try like a, a non-graphic art screen tablet and just try a regular tablet. But I figured I wanted, I wanted a big one, so I paid for the 169 version instead of the 69 version. So I got a medium, some medium space here. With the update, it should have 2,048 pressure points for the pen. And it has four express keys, one here and one here. I don't know if you can see that. And it's made especially for doing art. They have one for drawing, art, photo editing, and one more thing I can't quite remember, but drawing, art, um, and photo editing is, is what they have it for. So okay, um, let's hurry open this baby up so you can see what's um, inside the box. Hopefully it'll be a lot easier to open than the stupid Gaumon tablet, girl. Hate you, Gaumon. Okay, so I think I'm not sure how to open this. Do I slide it? Yes, you slide it. You slide it. Inside, it's upside down. Okay, so now we have a black box. Yeah, once we remove the cover, it's, uh, the interest comes in a black box. Hopefully this isn't used or taken back. It seems a little, seems a little strange, but that's okay. As long as it works. Whack -a. Whack -a. Okay. Ta-da! This is the Wacom tablet. And this is the pen, the 42, the, the, the 2048 pressure sensitivity level pen. Should be anyway with the update. I think without the update, it was um, a, th a thousand and forty or, so, or a thousand and twenty or something like that, which was good for back then. But the update, yeah, get more, more bang for the buck. Oh, oh, careful. So this is the pen. It. I'm assuming this pen does not come with an eraser. I'm, I'm assuming that's not that's that's for the Cintiqs. Um, comes with two buttons. Here. One, one's probably set to erase and one's probably set for the, um, the, right, the right click button, I don't know. And it has this one, um, wa Wacom logo, a logo on it. And the C is backwards. Yeah, that's um, not dyslexic. Okay, let's put this over here. And this is the tablet itself. Just, okay, it says, okay, it says slide to open. Yeah, got my Christmas hat on and my Christmas gear. But you can see the deflection. Slide to close. Don't know what that means. We'll, we'll figure it out in a minute. Just this off. Oh, it's permanently stuck on here. So let's do the thing by slide to open and close. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what they mean. I don't want to break it. So, yeah. Where these dots are. That's the work area. That's the work area of this. And look how clean and unused it looks. Okay, there's definitely a little bit of clicking noise on these buttons, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. It shouldn't be um, that disturbing to other people. Wouldn't recommend doing this at nighttime, or at least using the express keys at night. Okay, let's see this to the side. What else it comes with? It says, um, software bundle download. It's at Wacom.com, get started intuition or something. Okay, so apparently it comes with a software bundle. If I did my research correctly, 
it was some kind of uh, some kind of um, art program, especially for it for the tablet. That this is basically for beginners to get you started on art. But I already have my art program, so it don't really matter. Okay. Ah, this is the UV cable, the the USB cable that hooks up to the Wacom and the computer. I don't believe it's wireless, so let's just put this aside. Into us, 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 us. Nothing on the back, but Wacom.com, okay. So it says website, which means download the drivers, I believe. Hook up, and then into us, it works. Or there's a CD right there, I don't know what that's about. There's a CD, I don't know what that's about. Okay, let's just open this. Big, thick manual. But it's not too thick because it's in different languages, so you won't have to read much. Okay, let me just, just put this aside. Okay, the, the Intuos disk driver that comes with the Wacom to, in order for it to work. But do not do this. Always go to the official website for the, uh, for the updated drivers. This is, this is totally out of date because this is like a 2015 Wacom or something like that. There's like a bunch of serial numbers here for different types of Wacoms or something, I don't know. You know, I thought this was a warranty, but I don't know what this is. Let me just put this aside. Okay, so I have no idea what I'm doing because I have my heart set so much on that other graphics tablet that I literally did almost no reading of the manual online. So I'm gonna read the, the manual, install the drivers, and then come back to the art program after I figure out how everything works, and then show you how it draws. Okay, so in three, two, one, future. OMG guys, it works, it works. All I did was install it, reset the computer, plug it in, and I didn't even have to set any um, pressure sensitivity levels. The pressure sensitivity levels were automatically worked with the program I have, which is Clip Studio Pro. This is Clip Studio Pro right here. And if you notice, I have on a glove, right? Um, the X-Pen glove, I, I just got from eBay. Some, I just got any old random glove from eBay um, because I thought I would need it. And it feels a little funny. I don't think I need it. I really don't think I need it, but I, I'm gonna wear it just in case. Um, I see myself taking this off in the future. It feels a little funny, but it works, guys. It works. It truly works. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. I, I, I pray to God you can see this because this is so awesome. Okay, here's the lighter strokes. And it just goes to heavy. Okay, you see that? They're right there. That's 2048 pressure sensitivity levels. Right there, that's, that's, that's 2048 pressure sensitivity levels. Oh, what am I doing? Am I gra I'm grabbing something? What, what is this about? What is this about? This is weird. Okay. Um. Isn't that great? This is, this is so great, it works. I can attest that Wacom is a good tablet. It really is. So let me draw something for real this time. See, I would've never been able to draw a heart with a little weird curly tail thing if I didn't have this right here. And it's kind of weird because I'm looking through the camera lens, not the camera lens, the back of my camera instead of actually looking at the um, screen. So it, it, it's just a little weird. It's probably gonna take some getting used to, but I never really just drawn before. Like last time I drew, like, when was the last time I drew? I think I was 10 when I drew. Yeah, uh, that's some real art skills right there, being a 10 year old. Yeah, yeah there's, that's no art skills at all, yeah. But yeah, I just wanna say to you guys, I wanna say to you guys this. Yeah, I can write it. Because, you know why? It's the end of the video, ooh. Because it, it works. And do it before I end the video, I'm gonna tell you that um, I have software that, I, that, that comes free with this. And I don't know how well it works. I, I may put it up if, if I download it and this and that and, and show you how well that works. But until then, shop responsibly. Yeah, I made a good choice this time. 
Up with Wacom, down with Gaumon. Boo. Boo, Gaumon, boo. Shop responsibly. Okay guys, so this is the Corel Painter Essential 5 that came free with the Wacom Intuition Art. I download, I registered in my product and then I downloaded it as simple as that. Um, it, it, came, it came through the program so you, you can't really just uh, be, be too mad at something free, it's just pretty, it's pretty good. Now, about the uh, pin pressure sensitivity, it took a while to um, get to work. Like I, I did a Google search and I went some tell me to go back and try it again and it automatically works. So if you have problems with it, I don't know, maybe just press harder or something like that or just like um, open and restart your your program or something like that. I'm, I'm not really sure. I, I I really cannot tell you how the print pin pressure just 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 worked and work for me or something. I, I, I do not know. It, it's, it's just weird. But yeah, this is um the Coral Painter Essential 5 that you get for free. Uh, I'm just gonna use my pointing finger with my glove. Yeah, let me turn this light on so you can see my glove. Yeah. Okay, so this is the color wheel. And what makes this color wheel so neat is that it um, the tr it's, it's like a, a triangle. The triangle is like for the different shades of blue or different shades of whatever various color you pick from the wheel around the triangle. And you can go from darker to lighter purple like right now that I'm doing. You, you could just select, which right now I use my computer mouse to show you since um, I'm not really used to using the Wacom pen for like selecting stuff. There's a grabby tool. There's like a zoom in, zoom out feature. You can turn the page. With, with this icon over here, you can turn the page. Um, you, ooh, you can even do text. You can do the text. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Let's just write, let's, let's, let's write something. Tech, no, glow, stick. Clearly that's really crappy, and it's my old favorite color. My favorite new favorite color is orange, but yeah, it's, Okay, uh, it's just going with the purple theme because that's what um, a girl with a credit card is all about. And if you look up here, they have a, just, 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 just a few basic brushes and pens. It, not, nothing too special. Um, you, you can get some effects here. Uh, I, I really don't know anything or about like art programs or what half of this stuff does, but it, it's just really simple like for, for, for a beginner. And that's perfect for me since I'm a beginner. There really is nothing much to this thing. Like I thought it'd be like so many different um, who dads and gadgets that I wouldn't know what to do and get lost. But no, um, the page is pretty simple. Over here, there's some um, colors you can like click on, and then in, in this area, like like um, this like roughed up paint. I, I guess if you were some kind of like traditional artist instead of a digital artist, you would know. This this would be like useful to you some for in some way I I don't know, and then you have the color set, which is featured also in the Clip Pro. With this this is basically all they use, um the, these color blocks here. I wish there was like a a way you can type in a number for the R G B or something like that, I, or for the red blue and green or something like, or yellow or something. I I really wish there was a number so you can get the exact color like typing the exact color, but it looks like it doesn't have that feature. But yeah, um, other than great pen sensitivity and stuff like that, and a few brushes and colors and doodads and stuff like that, there really isn't much to it. They also say it can be used as a photo editor, but I haven't tried that yet. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this. I give the Wacom Intuos Art, um, the, the, the medium size that I'm using right now, I give that a five out of five, five, five stars, because it's, it's, it's worth it. It's, 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 um, it's worth it for a beginner like me. I mean, I, 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 I really, I really, really did not need all that fancy stuff, but I paid the money for the, for the, for the Gaoma, which was totally unnecessary. This is totally perfect. This is totally perfect. And, and it has like, um, a reasonable amount of pen pressure. I mean, who's going to notice uh, just the, those little teeny strokes and the 8,192 pin pressure levels.
when most people say, say like the professional artists, they say they don't notice past um, the 2048, they, they don't notice past that. So yeah, I think I'm good. So yeah, it's just a little bonus, show you what you get extra with the uh, Wacom into, uh, into us. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. But remember, uh, above all these things, shop responsibly.